I need to congratulate uh, uh, President Mahama for what he did the day after, the Tamale event. And many people have said it was very well put together and all of that. So the Tamale event was good. But there was more trouble from the Tamale event, wasn't it? Because he spoke about a 14-point plan. Before the Congress, my friend, the guy who marked the law school script, Black Rasta, he had commented on President Mohammed's citizenship analysis. And President Mahama repeated it in, in the UDS in Tamale on Monday. So we're going to show you what President Mahama said whilst we congratulate him for the events. Now, why are we congratulating President Mahama for the Tamale events? It's about this, same thing I'm talking about. It's about the personalities who attended. He got Samuel Ofusampofu back into an NDC event, sitting next to Johnson and said, I think that was great. I think that was good. We have to remember that. And congratulate John Mahama for that. He was, he was in there. He got uh, 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 Fusan Pofu there. Asiedun Ketia was there. He was there. Haruna Idrisu was there. Uh, Fifi um, Ato Forsen was there. So to the extent that he thought about having an event in Tamale to have all of them there, I think that was good. That's the beginning of unity. For any political party, after the primaries, every political party, you have to unite people. Tonight, we'll be talking about the concept of the break the AIDS that we found in our research. And I'll, I'll, sh I'll share that with you as well. That's also coming. So, so congratulations to John Mahama for that. But he talked about the citizenship thing again. This is what he said. After that, we'll show you what Black Rasta said about that. This is President Mahama. I share the view that Ghanaians in the diaspora must no longer have to renounce their foreign citizenship before they can stand for elections or hold public office in Ghana. I personally believe that most of them make up for their absence with the remittances that they send. And definitely if conditions improve, a lot of them will return home to work here in Ghana. In fact, some Ghanaians in the diaspora have proven to be extremely beneficial to our country. Take, for instance, Professor Frimpon Boateng of the Cardiothoracic Center, FIM, who returned from Germany to establish the Cardio Center and has saved. Since the professor's return, he has contributed his significant bit in medicine and in politics. The President Mahama is talking about Frimpon Boateng. Now, we have our own views about this uh, citizenship thing. And... Uh, uh, there's a private member's bill that put it up, and so it's gone to the speaker, and um, the speaker has sent it to the Council of State, isn't it? But there's a small disagreement that we have with the citizenship that we can talk about. I always look at, uh, for those of us who grew up in Ghana and studied in Ghana, I always look at two people, two men. Or shall I say two? Let's, let's use two men, okay? One is in Commonwealth Hall at the University of Ghana. The other one is in Legon Hall. Both of them study medicine. Both of them go abroad to specialize. They go to America. They go to Connecticut, New York, specialize. Both of them specialize and become surgeons. Okay? One of them decides after becoming a surgeon that look, or after becoming a surgeon, both of them are offered American citizenship. One of them says that, oh, the time I was going to school, I come from Inkarie. My uncle always said, Ude Ube Yusko, I'll be a doctor, no, I'll be a MP. He remembers his uncle who is now dead, telling him that, ah, Ude Ube Yusko, I'll be a doctor, no, I'll be a MP. And he went into, he heard it from age 8, 9, 10, 11. His uncle always said, ah, they were our baby. After every speech day, he collects the mathematics prize. His uncle said, ah, they were our baby, dear. Ube Yusko, I'll be a doctor, I'll be a MP. So it's in his mind. So he finishes his specialization in America. They're offering him American passports. He's aware. That if he takes American passports, he cannot do the MP for career for his late uncle and his parents and his people. He can't. So he says, no, sorry, I don't want it. The other guy takes the American passport and continues his life in America as a surgeon. He's earning a lot of money. The other one comes to Ghana, comes to work at Kolebu 37, Rich Hospital, all that. Are we saying that on the day that the whistle is blown for the Encarrier MP, both of them should be qualified to do it? I think no. Loyalty to the motherland is important. But the people who have dual citizenship, it doesn't mean they cannot do anything in Ghana, but they cannot be members of parliament. They can do other things. They can be ministers. They can be, no, they cannot be ministers as well. They can be ministers. They can be deputy ministers. They can be judges. They can be a judge of the Superior Court of Judicature. It's okay. You can be CEO of something. You can lead Ghana Commercial Bank. You can lead Noguchi. You can even be vice chancellor of the University of Ghana, but you cannot be a member of parliament. I'm not so sure why members of parliament want that changed. I don't understand it. Why do we want that change? And we suspect that President Mahama is talking about it because he suspects that people are worried about it so that it will give him some votes. 
uh, I mean, later tonight, I'll be talking about Donald Trump and been inviting President Mahama to point us to his record as often as he can, rather than telling us what he's going to do. Because the, the rebuttal for what he's going to do is what did you do that indicates that you will be able to do this. So tonight, we'll put his 14-point plan on the screen and tell you how people are criticizing it. But uh, that was John Mahama talking about citizenship. Now, here is the response delivered earlier. Uh, but still relevant because John Mahama has repeated it. So it's delivered by Black Rasta. Have a look. It's only a minute long. Brother, my sister, can you believe what Mahama just said? All along, I was giving you some very, very, very much underground support. Oh, give Mahama the opportunity to come. And when Mahama comes up, oh, by all means, he will be able to um, correct some of the mistakes as he has said. And this is what you are bringing? You are bringing dual citizenship people to come and rule over us. My God have mercy. Where we've seen people like Gabi, what they are doing to us in this country. Oh, what a joke. Mr. President, did you just say this? Will somebody wake me up from this dangerous nightmare and tell me, Black Rasta, you did not hear this? I am going to allow dual what? Dual citizenship holders because they have the experience. So what? If they have the experience and they are loyal enough, they must shed off their dual citizenship and hold on to one. We have seen people who have shown us the way. They do not need to share their loyalty. My brother, my sister, this dual citizenship debate will continue unabated. But if Mahama has come out boldly to say this, I am truly ashamed. And I am very, very sad. And I, if I ever meet him, I'm going to tell you, Mr. President, who deceived you to say what you said. The fact that you want power does not mean that you can say anything populist. It's a shame. I leave it here. Rastafari. Um, yes, that was Black Rasta. Uh, ranting about what President Mahama said. And on this one, I, uh, this is the only time I agree with Black Rasta. You know that Black Rasta... And I have had a difficult relationship because he marked my scripts at law school and he said that I failed. So we don't have a good relationship. He's a bad lecturer and a bad script marker. Because he marked the script. I'm saying he marked the script because he sat on TV and said, the last time I checked that Paul Adumotri failed law school exam. So I, I am assuming that he marked the script. So I think he did. So Black Rasta, remark it because I didn't fail. I marked the thing well. Or if you don't see my handwriting, call me. I'll type it for you to see. So sometimes, often I disagree with Black Rasta, but on this one, President Mahama, so there's a lot for us to talk about, Mr. President. Um, Mr. President, you, this dual citizenship thing, Black Rasta is not happy. I'm, I'm not happy as well. We are your sons. Uh, can you please come again on that? We don't want you to be, um, we don't want your advisors to take you to the populist line. We want you uh, to, to lead and present yourself to Ghana the way it should be.